Hi y'all, welcome back to another week in my life vlog. Happy New Year. Um, have I vlogged this year? I mean, I did the whole reset vlog, but here we are. I've been working on so many like themed vlogs. So I have been filming, been working in my garden, lots of updates there, the dinner party vlog, all the things. But we're back with our first normal week in my life of the New Year. It literally doesn't matter. We're just back with the week in my life vlog, okay? Um, Today is Monday night. I just got a spray tan. I'm leaving for LA tomorrow. I'm there Tuesday through Friday morning. I fly back Friday and then we are going to the rodeo with Dakotas. I'm so excited. Um, today in real time is actually Dom's birthday. So uh, we're doing a little belated birthday dinner for her tomorrow night and I got her, I think potentially the best gift ever. That or she's gonna hate it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this stuff really quick. I also haven't given Macy her Christmas gift yet, so I need to wrap that because she's coming over in about 10 minutes. She just got back in town. We saw, um, what did we see? Anyone but you, that new like chick flick that everyone's talking about. I thought it was cute. Like honestly, just like going to the movies, getting Twizzlers. I feel like that's gonna be one of those things. Like I love Repair too, and everyone's gonna be like, what the fuck? Movie theater popcorn, like being in like sweats and a sweater on a Saturday night. Like, oh my God, love it. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take you guys with me. Hold on, sorry. The tree is still up because I just cannot let it go, but I did take down the decor. But I just can't let it go. I'm taking y'all in the hosting closet because we have lots of updates here. Um, we'll get to that. These are, we're working on a gallery wall. I also want to do wallpaper. Um, but anyways, lots of organization. You guys need to follow me on TikTok because I've been TikToking my life away. But this fell off, so that's good. Dom's gifts is in here and then I'm just gonna put, actually for Macy's, I think I'm gonna do a gift bag because it's a bunch of like random stuff. We'll start with Macy's Christmas gift. I actually just ordered her birthday gift. Birthday is next month and it is so good. But for Christmas, I just got her a lot of bows because she's always asking me for hair bows. So I thought, you know what? We're gonna just get this together. And then I'm getting her these little uh, Miss Mouse and Miss Eater stain treater because Macy has a problem where she stains things very easily, very quickly. And I do too. I really do. Um, but you know, Macy, some more than others. So anyways, that's all on there. And then I'm going to do this. Normally I would do better than this, but honestly, I don't have it in me. Like I've been waking up at 5 a.m. every weekday morning. You guys may be even watching my TikTok vlogs. And I'm just tired, okay? Like, I really am tired. It's six, and I have a bedtime of 8 p.m. I've also been rewatching Gilmore Girls, so I've barely been reading because I've been rewatching Gilmore Girls. I'm on season seven right now. I technically started rewatching from season three, so I do have the option of like going back, but oh, for Dom's birthday gift, guys, by the way, she loves Bagu and Sandy Lang. Lang? It's like cool people brands, you know? Um,. Very, very cute, okay? So I saw they did a clap, and I was like, oh my god, that's perfect. So one of two things is happening, okay? She either absolutely hated the clap and thought it was dumb and lame, and that's why she doesn't have anything, or it just sold out, and she's gonna be like, oh my god. But I just thought it was cute because red is so in. It's just like nice little bag, you know? So I'm gonna wrap that and bring it to dinner tomorrow. Okay, I also made the best oh my god i'll show you the best soup of my life that we're having for dinner tonight i had it for lunch again i mean like literally so good okay well I, for some reason i can't do this so that's good i'm just gonna get to wrapping this okay i just realized that i don't even have enough wrapping paper so back to the drawing board okay this is just not as cute or as cool but like honestly it is what it is i need to fix this Oh, okay. Well, this will do. Something that I have definitely been getting better about is actually planning out my outfits the week before, putting them all up here. So like I need to pack, but honestly, my outfits are ready, and I've had my outfit ready for the rodeo. I've had this outfit planned in my mind for months. I got these from base, so I probably need more. I don't know.
Okay, just pack this up in like five minutes and then whatever. And then in the morning, I'll put my toiletries in there. But we're pretty much good to go. Guys, look who moved back. How does Guys, it feel to be back? back? I'm a Texas resident. Again, I know I had to like change my license back to California for a little. Yes. Actually, my license is still California, mm -hmm. but. Interesting. We're Guys, back. This is the recipe. Screenshot it. It's from Hungry for Homes Cookbook. I found her through Homeworthy and became absolutely obsessed with her. My grandma and I have matching books. This is the best soup ever. Like, it's so good. So, just heating it up right now, making our dinner. I think you made me this before. Um, something similar, not this exact one. Okay, Macy was just reading through my garden planner. I'm actually really intrigued because oh, I, I was like, journal. I was actually curious about the timing, like with the freeze. And like, oh, yeah. I know, like, it doesn't just shut down your garden. Totally. Like, There's some things you can do, but you kind of work around it. Okay. Do I have any other teeth? Nope. Right. We should have some Ollie pop after this. Yes. Okay, wait. Yeah. Alright, Fitz. It's not about you right now, dude. It kind of is. Move oh, out of the way. Wait, no, he's so me. Just like inserting himself <laughs> no, into like everything. He's so me. Okay. Christmas gift because I was gone for three months. Which one should I do first? It's a lot of them. Because every time we're about to go somewhere, I'm like, do you have a ribbon? And then like, like every time we're about to go somewhere, I say, do you have a ribbon? And you got mm -hmm. me one. No, I got you a bunch. I got you all the ones that I have. Thank you so much. They're bows. No, I, no yeah, bows. Yeah. I'm like, every time we leave, I'm like, do you have anything I could put in my hair? But get it all out because it'll, I'll start laying them out. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Are these ribbons? They're all, yeah. They're, no, they're all bows. They're bows, sorry. You, that's what I mean. I'm, I'm new to this vocab. Oh. Wait, I, I thought you meant like you have to tie it yourself. Oh, no, no, no. Oh my god, I just got new sweaters. It's gonna be so cute with. More? Yeah, just in case. Oh. I, I, you know. <laughs> I have to just make sure. And you guys, I, also, I will never ask her for one again. No, and I also forgot every time you ask me, which I normally don't forget. Yeah. Well, not every time, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wanted to record. <laughs> Miss Mouse Messy Eater Stain Treater. Yeah. You guys, I pulled them already. I spill everything. Like, I got you brother, a bunch. There's a couple in there. Stop. There's like, probably like I could have used this. My brother got me um, a really cool like Elwood hoodie for Christmas. <gasps> First Did day, it? stained it. Like, tears. Oh, oh no. my gosh. I could have used this. Macy, no, no, no. Okay, so now I'm going to have... Really cute hair and no stains in my shirt. Yeah, and like you have so many bows. Stop. And then you can trade them with your friends. Wait, okay, wait. I just got this really cute turtleneck from Newly. That is perfect for cowboys. I know. Guys, if you don't know, it's perfect for my team. Yeah, she's a cowboys cheerleader, for those who didn't know. If you don't know, like what pop <laughs> culture do you keep up with? Yeah, then, okay, are you living under a rocker? I don't have a hair tie to. This, mm. this is just such a good cheer present. <laughs> wait, okay, wait. Since I, I got you bows for practice. It's so nice. Okay, let's see if I can do it without a hair tie. I may have gone a little overboard with the bows, but there's just a lot of options, and you just never know what kind of bows you want. I got the big ones, but I know sometimes they're too much for people, so then I also got the small ones. And you're so, like... They're so good. I don't ever wear the small ones. I should, though. They're cute. This is so perfect. This is why I got it, because it's cowboys mm -hmm. colored. So, no, this was so nice. Anyways, Merry Christmas. Bye. Hi, y'all. Happy Tuesday. I have all my stuff prepped and ready to go because we're leaving for the airport very soon. I have to take some calls before. I woke up early. I've been documenting my 5 a.m. morning routines on TikTok. But honestly, this week has been way harder. It's also freezing out. I canceled my Pilates class this morning. I just like feel worn down and I'm tired and I have a big week. Um, I'm landing and then I have a couple more calls. I have a couple other things I need to do in LA and then tonight we have Dom's birthday dinner. Tomorrow and the next day I'm in studio. I still need to prep for those episodes. I feel like it's just really hitting you hard, you know? Um, but I'm wearing this cute little like sweater set. The pants are not the most flattering. I've had them forever. Um, but wearing a sweater set to the airport is amazing because I'm gonna end up wearing this actual sweater to the studio tomorrow. So it's just like so smart, you know? Genius. Anyways. Um, I love this bag. I don't think I've even shown it in a vlog yet, but this bag I got it from Little Lifner. It was like one of my Christmas gifts, and it was actually like mainly to myself. But anyways, it carries everything. It's the perfect carry-on bag. I will say it's not structured. That bothers you. The one thing is like I desperately need a laptop case. I've got to get one of those. But I have like everything I could possibly ever need in here, and you can fit purses. It, I mean, it just like fits everything and I am just so happy with it. So anyways, I'll link the bag below 
it's definitely not cheap but i will say it looks like it's a designer bag that's like worth thousands of dollars and it's worth like a quarter of that so anyways love that and i'm gonna put in my purse and john's birthday gift and hopefully this all goes well oh god i really should have put this in the suitcase but it works here okay awesome also i have a truck in la this week thank god so that's gonna be interesting driving a truck in LA, but also just to have my car. And I got a hotel. Normally I'll like stay with a friend or something, but because I'm doing this like 5 a.m. routine and I'm up and I'm like I need in my own space. Also, I do better in like my own space when I'm there to work, you know? So I just needed to be productive. That's why I'm staying on my own. It's mainly the 5 a.m. morning thing. Like I'm not gonna wake them up, you know what I mean? So, anyways, gotta get on these calls and then we are off. I'm finally in LA. That was a long travel day. Things were just delayed, it was a bunch of stuff, no one cares. Anyways, I'm here and um, GMC loaned me a truck for the week again, which I am so grateful for. This truck is possibly, I think, the nicest truck I've ever been in. It's so sick. This interior is my dream. I'm on the journey, I'm, I'm looking, we're shopping. I went shopping with my dad over the holidays um, just because I'm like terrified to go to a car place alone. I feel like they're gonna take advantage of me. This is the most stereotypical I just got to LA clip i could film i'm currently in the drive-thru at in and out i'm so hungry i forgot snacks on my flight and i'll literally never forget that again also the guy who guys okay let's talk about this the guy who was sitting next to me on the flight the middle seat was open okay and i'm like pretty sure he was really hot but like i couldn't tell because he was wearing a hat and then i like couldn't look at him and then he was sleeping and then he put his hat over him but he was wearing cowboy boots and jeans and like a cool shirt and a hat like exactly how i want a guy to dress you know I had a mustache I'm not normally into, um, but I mean, there's a first for everything. Anyways, like, loved him, okay? We didn't speak, obviously, and, you know, I had my headphones on, and I wasn't probably the most approachable, but, you know, whatever. It's just an upsetting story, and I, and I also didn't even know if I thought he was cute. I couldn't tell, because I never really got, like, a full front face shot, you know, but, like, we definitely had something there, so. Anyways. I'm so hungry. I'm getting I'm getting food right now, and we literally have dinner at 6:30. It's currently four. I'm barely, 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 really gonna make it. I have made it to the hotel. I'm staying at the Pally Hotel. It's the first time I've stayed here. It's on Melrose. It's literally Melrose. It's cute. Um, I'm barely in the hotel. I'm really in and out of here. I love a good hotel, but like I'm not like if it's just me, I don't need. I don't know. I just like don't like spending a lot of money on hotels. Anyways. Um, I had to DoorDash some Sephora stuff because I realized on the flight that I forgot a hairbrush and the only hairbrush that was available was this crown hairbrush that was $75, guys. So I looked up some reviews and some TikToks and I was influenced. So I'm going to be, I'm going to test this and I'll be the judge. And then I was out of glow screen, so I got some more glow screen. We're going to get ready. I need to be ready in 20 minutes. I just did two minute makeup. I mean... Literally blush and mascara. Okay, looks like a brush, acts like a brush. Let's see. Guys, I'm honestly like kind of terrified to be driving this big of a truck around LA. Love the truck, it's literally the nicest truck I've ever been in my life. But um, I don't know if y'all have driven in LA, I'm normally not scared of it, but like, it's a tank. And I honestly, I felt fine about it until I got to parking at the hotel and it's like underneath the hotel and the turn is so tight and like it's just, it's just something else. I love the Canyon. By the way, that's my favorite truck. That's the one that I want because it is a little bit smaller. Oh, wow. This brush. Oh, it, okay. You know what? I will say. I'm not saying to run out and spend $75 on a brush. I'm just saying when I don't put my hair up, I don't know. It just, it was tighter. It felt a lot better. We'll see. I also steamed this skirt yesterday. Let it out, rolled it, did everything I could. Got it out of the suitcase just now. Five minutes before I gotta leave. And uh, it's all wrinkled. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to like a very rich people, sceney place for dinner tonight. And they're all gonna see my Princess Polly skirt. Um, not hurt. So, whatever, it is what it is. I mean, I only brushed off this much. I'm gonna keep you guys posted on this, but normally I would have a ton of hair. Not a ton, but more than this. I'll keep you guys posted. Crown Affair. I mean, I like the brand. I just feel like, I don't know, maybe that is something. 
See, hair health, we gotta work on that, so. I'm just wearing a wrinkly skirt, as you guys know. A long sweater, wrinkly skirt, these kitten heels, and literally no makeup, sunscreen, mascara, blush, and then I'll put a lip on. And we're heading out. I'm giving myself extra time to just be patient with myself. Okay, I'm packing my purse. Bag. Good start. Nightcap cards, always. Okay. Guys, did you notice I said that like so weird? I have way too many lip products in my bag right now. Like, okay. And also, like, let's just talk about the fact that like half of these, I'm pretty sure, are like good to throw away. Okay. In all seriousness, guys, this truck is the nicest truck I think I've ever been in. I love it. It's so perfect. It's an amazing truck. Like, I wouldn't for me drive this like in the city like i would be able to drive it in like dallas which is a city i understand but like it's a little bit different than la and honestly the driving in la driving is not the issue it's the parking because parking is so limited and the spaces are so small that's the problem um i love this truck like for texas i love the canyon also for texas it's probably what i'm gonna get just because it's smaller and it like makes more sense for my life right now um but if you like honestly like whoever i date and marry like needs to be driving this truck you know what i mean and that's how I'm gonna get it, basically. Okay? Or if y'all are in the market for, oh my god, my lips are so messed up. It looks like I have like crazy injection. Like, it was just not even overlying. There's lip products, whatever. Or if, basically, okay. Anyways, what I was saying, or if y'all are on the lookout or the hunt or shopping for a big, big, nicer truck, this is the one. It's so, oh my god, the interior is like unreal. Oh, you know. Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday. It's 6.30. I woke up at 5 because I'm doing my 5 a.m. morning routine. Um, and I got a lot of work done. And now I'm going to go on a nice walk to Blue Bottle, get some coffee, and go get a blowout. Today I'm in studio. I have two recordings today, two recordings tomorrow. Today I'm recording with Maggie Sellers and Vivian too. Maggie Sellers and I actually got coffee in Dallas like a week ago because she was in town and it was so great. I love her. And I'm reading Vivian Tu's book right now. Um, so, I'm gonna walk to Blue Bottle and get my favorite coffee in the entire world and then go to Dry Bar. Update on this brush, like I feel like it makes my hair look silkier and prettier and it's really not pulling out my hair compared to how much would normally be pulled out. I'm still, I mean $75 for a brush is still a lot, but like it also is weird that we never had like nicer brushes when that's something that touches our hair every day. I don't know. Anyways, last night we went to dinner. I went to Pache, it was really good. And I walked in and the hostess, so rude. And look, here's the thing, like I forget people are like that. And I come back and I'm like, oh my God. And sometimes like, it's never, there's this thing called like, I think it's called CEO syndrome, or at least like TK and I call it CEO syndrome. And it's like the people who are like typically the like super successful ones, the ones that like the aspirational ones, the ones that everyone wants to be, typically tend to be like the nicest. And the people who are the assistants are the, the rudest because they feel like they have like something to prove. So the people who haven't like hit their goal or their dream or whatever it is yet. I walked in guys, I'm not, I mean, it, I was like, oh, maybe it's like, she was just having like an off day, like whatever, I like, didn't think anything of it. John and Tab walk in, they won't even, she won't even like make eye contact with them. Like, so rude. I go back up because I'm like, okay, I'll just handle it to, like, get our table because our party had arrived. And I'm, like, waiting. Like, I'm standing right in front of her. And she won't even look at me. Like, literally won't even look at me. And I'm like, okay, like, hey, our table's ready. And, like, she had sent a waiter around but, like, didn't tell us. There was a waiter waiting for us. But she wouldn't have – she didn't look at me or, like, she wouldn't make eye contact with us or let us know that. So then she goes – looks up and she goes, mm -hmm. I mean, she literally shooed me, guys. Like, it was so rude. Our actual waitresses, everyone else is like super nice, but the hostess, like, I'm not kidding. I don't think I've ever experienced someone who was so, it was like out of a movie. Like if, if someone was gonna make a parody movie about people in Los Angeles, it, that would have been it. Um, and also I'm like, I would have like given her the benefit of the doubt if like that's a place that like everyone's really rude, but everyone's like so nice. So I was like, 
it was really bad guys so anyways Dawn loved her gift but I don't know if that really means she loved it because like what if it's not cool like what if like the reason she didn't get it was because it's not cool you know but um she said that she really likes it and she seemed excited so I guess we'll see um but anyways i'm really excited to get my new orleans with oat milk if y'all are new here by the way i lived in la for five years like i went to college here i lived here i did the thing and a blue bottle of coffee is the favorite coffee ever i've even gotten all my friends in texas onto it so like when we go to like new york or la or wherever we're going that there's blue bottle they're always getting it it's just the best so new orleans with oat milk i get a 16 ounce now i miss their breakfast sandwich that was also a good thing so anyways we're gonna we're gonna go. I'm gonna walk there and then I'm gonna drive to dry bar. Here's a better view of the truck, by the way. I'm not parked in a handicap. This is their spot. It's not the city. I'm not really quite sure. The hotel had me park here, but it's not used as a handicap spot. So please don't cancel me. This is just where they had me park. It's not by the city, okay? Anyways, here's a truck. It's so massive, but it's so stunning. I did want to give a little driving the truck update in LA. It's actually a lot easier than I thought, but I have been getting so many compliments like like yesterday this guy like stopped and rolled his window down and I was like oh god thinking he was gonna like be scary and he was just complimenting me and thought it was cool then when I got to ballet last night at dinner the girl behind me was like oh my god it was so cool to see you like walk out in heels wearing that truck or driving that truck and I was like guys so everyone's being really nice to me yes I did just parallel park this truck thank you for asking Just got the best blowout pretty much of my life. I'm making a TikTok on exactly what I asked for. Um, I haven't like brushed out the curls or anything yet, but unreal. And it was only like an hour. Normally when I'm at Dry Bar there, I'm there for like two because my extensions these days, but obsessed. This room isn't really conducive for vlogging, but I have my outfit on. I'm just wearing these jeans, which honestly, I always forget how much I actually really love these jeans because when they're on my like hanger, I think that they're way too wide and I feel like I get them confused with another pair. They're Abercrombie, go figure, you know, like the only jeans I wear are literally Abercrombie at this point. I have like one pair of Levi's. Um, yeah, I wear Abercrombie for love mainly and I'm a size 28 normally. Sometimes I'll switch it up, but I would just say I'm normally 28 and I'm a size 6. So anyways, for a reference, but I love these jeans, the kitten heel even. For summer, like if I just, I could wear this in the summer and like not be dying, you know, maybe not a bodysuit, but I just love it. These bodysuits from Abercrombie also are my favorite bodysuits. They're just so flattering and amazing and I love them. This sweater is actually H&M. Go figure. Everything is also H&M. Um, it's what I wore yesterday, so I'm just going to tie this around and then potentially wear it in the studio. And my kitten heels are my favorite kitten heels from Sam Edelman. I feel like my wardrobe is really just a lot of staples and then I have a lot of different colors of the same thing that I really like. I'm not going to bring my coat because I don't want to carry it around. Um, I ordered Jones for breakfast and then I got the Chinese chicken salad, which is the best salad ever. And I'm bringing that for lunch. But this bag, again, a little lifter. It's so good, I need to do a what's in my bag. I actually might film that right now. Um, and then I'm just showing my purse and then we're gonna head out that way. I'm really, really excited for today's recordings. I just have such a good feeling. I'm in such a good mood. I'm really feeling like myself in a truck, you know? Oh my God, ugh. Okay, a little dramatic. I've also been loving Megan Maroney. I cannot wait for the song No Caller ID to come out. Like I honestly can't even relate to it at this point in my life, but like it's such, a good song. Hopefully by the time this vlog is up, maybe it will be out. She said it's coming out in January, but big, big fan. She's so good. Okay, off to Dear Media. Here is my look, but also like just the truck, just to give you guys the coloring. Like this is exactly what I want. It's brown, like perfect. Hi, how are you? We're literally oh matching. God, like we're we are twins. literally matching, exactly. I had to text you and be like, what are you wearing? We know I'm obsessed. Wait, this is so cute, you're so LA. Thank you. Well, this is what I normally do wear, but <laughs> it's boots or kitten heels always. These glasses are kind of camera on them. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, what are I'll these? show you after. I'm in between recordings. The first one was amazing. I think my favorite episode, one of them, yeah. Here we are. I never record in studio because I'm always like busy and on camera for the episodes, but here we are.
All right, y'all, it's 6 p.m. I finished my recordings and then I went to Earth Cafe. So LA of me. This has been like a very stereotypical trip um, with my friend Connor. And I really want to do nothing more than just lay in bed. I just want to watch Gilmore Girls. I'm tired and I need to get a bunch of stuff done. I don't know why I got like so many emails today, but I'm gonna have a little productive self-care night in my hotel and then I have a big day tomorrow. I feel so good about the episodes today. Like, oh my God, I think you guys are gonna love them. And I need to like take my makeup off. Like I just, I need this off. I really do. Okay, well, we're, I'm waiting right now for the parking meter because I can't park this truck in the parking garage here just cause it's too small. Oh, wait, 6 p.m. now. Okay, so I can pay the meter and then it's fine and then I get up at eight tomorrow. This is what I'm doing to make my life easier. Good morning, guys. I cannot keep filming in this hotel room. It's so dark. All right, y'all, Keen's coming to pick me up. These jeans have already stretched out. I put them on and they're stretched out immediately. It's the only downside to curve love jeans. These stretch out more than the others. Abercrombie, Skims Top, Revolve, Tacova's Boots, my little opener bag. Keen's taking me up, we're going to get coffee, and then we're editing a book episode today. I only have one episode today because one of my guests got sick, but that's totally fine. So, we are about to go get some breakfast and hang out this morning with Keaton, and then we're recording a book episode, which has been very requested, and she reads a lot of fantasy, which I don't, so I feel like it's gonna be a good episode. Good morning, guys. Look who I'm with. We're at Dialogue. I got an oat oh, cappuccino. I don't know, it looks good. Back at the hotel, Keaton and I are hanging out today, or this afternoon, evening. We are so excited because we're literally gonna just sit at her apartment and do nothing, which is what we used to do all the time. She would come visit me in LA all the time, and we would always be together. She'd come visit in Dallas, like, and we would just sit at my house and literally do nothing. And it was just incredible. It's everything we need. We'd get on our laptops, we would bake pie sometimes, and we would literally do nothing. So, going to do nothing as I've said, changed into a little skim set. So, we're off. Yes, hi guys. We're back, we're baking. Um, it's actually a homemade recipe. It's really great, I don't know if you guys have ever seen them. <laughs> yeah, you guys have probably never heard of it. You gotta like really work hard. Have you ever seen that episode of Friends where Phoebe's like, Nestle, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? She's like acting like it's her own No, it's literally And she's saying Nestle to a house, like not. Also, right way. I have these mugs, I need these. You do, my mom so also just cute. got me the Christmas version. I know, I saw that, I'm it's sorry. So, I wish I could have got that. It's so cute. I have the like stacking measuring cups. Oh, I have those. Those are I amazing. Too. I like those. I also love this. I got all of the, I was huge on this girly. I want the big pot. I got the, I the big pot and then I got this and smaller. It's amazing for breakfast. Oh, really? Yeah, if you're making it like just for yourself. I think I want to let, what is it, like croissant? Is that how you say Yeah, it? Dutch I oven. Want, I want a Dutch oven mm -hmm. so bad. Maybe, honestly, when we move to the new place, I feel like that's yeah. like the best in. Like, Good just call. for like soups and stuff. You have it for oven too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And there's like so many cute colors. I just don't know which color to get. No yeah, it, it is like a commitment because it is like costing an arm and a leg. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I'm like, I have You're to probably get only getting one of those ever. Yeah, I need to get a color that makes Ooh. sense that I can commit to. You have one of those like confusing coffee. Thanks. I do. I have like Oh, a, wow. My mom, when I was a kid, taught me. It's so weird that like, I used to know when I was in like second grade, younger than that actually, how to use one of like the Starbucks machines that were like that, that were so confusing. Yeah, just espresso. By the way, I can't even use an espresso at this point in my life. I use a Keurig because I don't, it's too confusing for me. The way I, I used to literally be a barista in the morning. Like before school, like every morning, she trained yeah. me as a child. That's how I feel with that thing, which that's my favorite thing ever. Yeah. And I then I have the that. Keurig, but I have the Keurig simply because I just had it from college. Mm -hmm. And when people come over, I feel like they're used to that. Like yeah. Like just having the Keurig, but I hate the taste of it. So, so for what, Christmas, I just got the Nespresso. So now I have an Espresso, you have a Keurig, that. and like a full... I like Keurig. Keurig. I like, I like like gas station coffee. Yeah, like I have coffee at a gas station. Oh no. my god! Like, no, 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 no! I need like straight. Yeah, I don't good. Need it. But I like, I can appreciate it. Like I like measure my beans. Oh, I wow. put a little, like it's like a full thing. See, I would like really to get into that. Like I would like to like, you know. And I have all my different syrups. I just like mix them up every morning. Oh. Like I have all different, like all of these in here. It's like I'm just like a million. Yeah, different. Wow. Oh, 
of syrup. Oh my gosh, she's got like six in there, guys. Yeah, it's my favorite thing ever. Oh, wow. My coffee's the best part of my day. Yeah, I should Hey, how, that. how's your 5 a.m. morning routine going? Actually great, especially here, because I would go at seven. My, it's like seven my time. It's actually going great. Is that cheating? No, because I'm waking up at 5 a.m. here. No, kidding. But it's seven there. So yeah. this week has been a joke, but I didn't film it this morning, because my hotel, the lighting, makes everything ugly. I wouldn't give up on vacation. I'm just being like, Honest. Well, I'd be like, vacation. that was really cool. Not vacation, vacation but like, if I'm on a trip, it's yeah. any excuse to be like, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah, but it's been like, I could wake up when I work in the morning because I'm like, in the studio, I can't like do anything while yeah. I'm there. So I haven't done like any like, workouts or anything, but I've been like, I was up and productive. How, how it was going because it is very inspiring when I see you on TikTok. You feel way more in control every day. It's really great for someone with anxiety. Well, I do six a.m. I yeah, just I did in the past. Sure about yeah, that. I just switched to six a.m. Five a.m. Honestly, I think I'm gonna end up going to like five thirty, five forty-five after this. Yeah. Because this is what I was saying because Emily and Margo texted about that or texted me about this. Like, I don't think it's sustainable for someone in your twenties, especially like it would be more for your lifestyle because you're more like established relationally. Like, you have like a serious relationship. Like, if I started dating, like, you're in like, the early phases where it's like spontaneous and you're like sleeping out like over yeah, and over. Yeah, you and whatever, can't keep up you, that schedule. You can't do it. I can barely keep up my reading schedule. You know. Yeah. The so thing with Brandon is he wakes up very early every oh. single day. He wakes up at five, five thirty wow. every naturally. Is Why? What he does. So it's football. It, would, it should actually inspire me to really yeah. do that. But yeah, it's from football. Like his whole yeah. life, like he just he can't sleep. That's actually night. really nice. That like yeah, he gets up and he's gone every day. I'm like oh goodbye. Does he go work out? He goes golf. <laughs> He literally okay. wakes up at 5 30, he's out of this home by 6 a.m. and he's golfing. Wow. At the crack of John. See, yeah, not all. That, that's like once every blue moon. So, what'd you do this morning? Because actually, you just came back from. Like, <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> I'm like pretty confused. That was confused. afternoon round. That wasn't like mm -hmm. every day. So, what'd you do yesterday morning? I'm out golfing. So, what'd you do yesterday morning? <laughs> I didn't go off here yesterday at 6 a.m. Babe, please. Did I? Yes. I at actually, you know what? Everyone complains I about. Okay. I did? can I just say this? Mm -hmm. I love it. I, I was just, just gonna say that everyone complains about their like partners golfing. I'm gonna fucking love Brandon, it. I'm gonna be like, please golf, Brandon, please. We are the same human being because Brandon and me always joke about this because we'll be like with his other friends that like golf or like they'll have like kids or something. Which kids it's different, but like just any other couple, even if they don't have yeah. kids. And the wife or the girlfriend will always be like, how do you do it? Like, I just don't understand. And I'm like, it is like literally the best thing that's ever happened to me. Because we, like, I just like my time. Same. And we both work from home. So I'm like, if you don't ever go anywhere, like, we're just going to sit in this house all day, every day. Like, and stuck together. yeah, and just be like, I don't know. It's just good to have your own hobbies. Like, it's it. healthy and it's, like, very productive. He loves it. And, like, I like that he likes it so much because it's, like, mm. something, like, he hasn't played a sport in like a long time, joy. so it like brings yeah. some joy, which I really like. So I'm like, I love it. No, I'm gonna be like, you have to golf. Yeah, Please. yeah. That's like a lot. What's nice about golf is it lasts a lot longer than like a basketball game. Oh, yeah. okay. If he leaves at six, if he golfs at six, like he's literally not home yeah. until like twelve or one. There's also like, like money to be made on the golf course. Like if you're gonna pick up anything and have any hobby where you're gonna be like losing so much time of your life, like yeah. it actually is like. It, it's a good investment in your future. He like meets a bunch of people. I feel like he's made a lot of friendships doing it. Like he's able to like hang out with people a lot more, which I really like. Like that's really good for him too. Well, well here we cookies. here we are. Does making with us. Coming right up. Yay! <sighs> My flight was supposed to be leaving by nine this morning. It's currently seven and it got delayed to noon. But positive energy for it to come back and get there earlier. So anyways, I'm gonna still get there because I need to drop off this truck and I would rather just be at the airport because I'm not doing anything today and I need to work. And I'm landing right when we need to basically be on our way for the rodeo. So I think my car's at the airport, but Macy's gonna pick me up, bring my outfit. Thank God I already have my outfit laid out. Here's the thing guys, this is another pro to laying out your outfits for the whole week, okay? I have it laid out, all she has to do is grab it, okay? We're going with Tacovas. So I'm having her pick up my outfit. They're gonna, she's gonna pick me up. We're going straight there and then I'll get my car on the way back. Um, but I cannot miss the rodeo, obviously. Especially with Tacovas, it's like my literal dream. So, just a girl trying to get out of Los Angeles to go to the rodeo. I'm really hungry, I'm gonna stop a blue bottle really fast and just get some breakfast. 
and head to LAX, everyone's least favorite place ever. Y'all, I just want to give a visual as to how stunning this truck is again. It's literally a bright dream. Like, the interior is perfect. The truck itself is stunning. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Outgoing, charismatic person that they, you know, wanted to be around. Guys, I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah, see on the screen. I mean, I know other cars have like this speedometer part, but the actual GPS on the windshield is amazing guys i haven't updated y'all had the craziest travel day i'm just now making it back for the rodeo we're only arriving nine minutes late macy got my outfit for me and her macy's outfit of mine it's from macy's and i'm about to do my makeup and we're arriving in 27 minutes and we decided that we're gonna have a drink and we were gonna do a dry january but then we realized why would we do dry january when we haven't drank past like, couple here's months here's the thing is like we barely oh, drink wait, where's the music? oh sorry um, we barely drink as is. Like, yeah, we barely drink to begin with, so it's not like we need like a detox or a cleanse. We're some I was just like, oh, oh, it's down by. We your just feet. want, oh, it's, it's thanks. We just wanted to be. Um, I was like, oh, like if I can tell people I'm doing dry January, then slay. But yeah. I just want to be like wake up feeling great January. Yes. Wake up feeling great January. Normalize but that. Honestly, only if it's like an amazing drink offer. Like, I, if there's like a, a mark that looks great, then I'll have it. Yeah, like it has to be like a margarita that I want. I hope they have food. They will. It's in a suite, right? Yeah, right. So I think so. I'm not on the email. I know, I thought she was. So guys, I don't get plus ones anymore. I get like plus, plus Macy's. <laughs> like they're like, hey, if you and Macy want to come. So I, light. I don't need to like, cause I'm gonna end this clip. So there's too much going hey, look, on. There's even a mirror. This is why you need the base case. Oh, I have it. Oh, I have this exact one. Oh. But I uh, trash mine. So it's a great case though. Okay, we are. Um, it's somebody. Okay, we gotta go because we still have Dills and Megan Marnie. Bye. Bye. Insane that we somehow just pulled this off. Like, we made it. We're 10 minutes late. That's it. Amazing. Okay. This lip gloss is too. Oh, God. It's too dark. Oh, my God, we did it. The fact that we made it, I'd like to thank God, I'd like to thank Ben Hastings for the worship songs I was listening to, and I'd like to thank Macy Thompson. And here we are. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Um, okay, it's two days later, and we're on our way to the Cowboys game, and <laughs> the vlog ended two days ago. We just have to let you know that we literally broke dry January to not break it. No, we said we were going to break dry January, and we're like, this is so crazy, like, we're breaking it, and we didn't. Like, we didn't drink. We're like, we're going to get margaritas, yes. no, no drinks. No, we didn't. Woke up this morning, we're like, we'll do it at the Cowboys game, and then we're I was like, like, I have no, no desire to drink. Like, instead, we got extra strong, strong coffees, and yeah. like, I feel way more amped. Last night, I was like, you know what, like, F this, I'm just going to get drinks with my friends. I get there, the non-alcoholic drink looks way better, like, who <laughs> are we? <laughs> yeah, so basically, we take it back. I think we are going back to dry January, but not intentionally. Like, we're trying to break it, but like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's actually kind of hard. We're like, trying our best, like, I could break it with an honor bar bar, I just haven't been honor bar. Yeah, same. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I will break it. Maybe things crazy things maybe, will happen. Maybe, like, a beer here. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, I'm on my way to the Cowboys game with your favorite remote DCC. Um, all of this will be on Instagram, TikTok. Love you guys. Bye. I'm really excited about it. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. But again, like, it's not really hustle culture, which is why I like it. And I just think it's a really incredible book. I highly recommend reading the book even after listening to this episode. I was introduced to it by, I know, shocker, take a shot every time I mention Ed Milet. I was introduced to this book through at my last podcast. I listened to that episode three times and then I bought the book. I took notes and I highlighted everything.